It is time once again for Chrono Trigger. Someone wanted a rundown of what happened in the game last time I played it. Don't forget the overlay. I can do that. Johnny, can you send me that overlay again real quick? I mean, listen, you can't really go wrong just watching and listening to the intro for a second, but, uh, yeah, this'll do, Johnny. This is cool. Yeah, I like it. So, what happened in the game? So, um, a silent lad with spiky hair wakes up and, uh, is told he's a lazy bum. And now he's in the future. Or wherever this is. I I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's the future because there's, um, you know, ruined buildings and stuff. Not like I've played this game a thousand times. You skipped a bit? Oh, well, he found, uh, they, they found a time machine by accident. They went to the past to play the shitty games that suck ass. And now for some reason, we're in the future. We have an Enertron here that, um, HP and MP restored, but you're still hungry. There was a frog with a sword, and uh, we don't know why we're here. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to escape um, or find out what we're doing here, basically. I know what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm here to listen to this music. That fucking rat just stole a tonic. Chat, I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking at when I look at this creature. The meat eater creature? It's a weird plant, yeah, but it like from the front it almost looks like a like a jester. Why don't you play the version with the cutscenes? Um, I've played the version with the cutscenes plenty. This is just my favorite. I like the original. You have a choice with the um, version with the cutscenes. You could do the PS1 version. I guess you could do the Steam version now. I like Toriyama's cutscenes. I think they're good. Uh, the PS1 version has very long load times. But I like the original translation, and, um, I don't know, there's just something about this version of Chrono Trigger that I prefer. It's a shame, though, because I know that people have their own favorite versions, and, um, there's also, you know... Uh, do we want to use that? No, I want to use Flame Toss. You know, different things, like, are added to the game per version, so... It can be, um, it can be tough for some people to not have that, but this is the one I grew up with and I just felt like playing this one. God damn it. Load sword. Oh, I get it, chat. I, I said perversion. And that was enough to- Oh, I- that's funny. I know this funny guy make stream- make- he <laughs> said the words. That's how people introduce me to their friends. Exactly that sentence, in that voice. Uh, what sword does Chrono have right now? Oh, it's got that one. 
goddamn rats always steal shit. So this game has some really nice visual auto attack. Okay. Um, how, how often do you replay this game? I'll answer that. But this game has a really good um, sense of visual identity per era. Like in terms of just like the color grading as well, like or the color palette. The future is that there's a lot of like drab colors and a lot of like like browns and blues and shit. And uh, the older I get, the more I appreciate the work, the sprite work and, and the background work. So I haven't played this game. Last time I streamed it was four years ago, and I played a mod called Chrono Trigger Plus, which was cool, but it fell a little bit short for me. It the new stuff that it added, I wasn't crazy about most of it. So that's another reason why I wanted to go back to the original here. So that was 2020. Before that, I played it in 2016. So that's a pretty long stretch of time that I haven't played the game. I used to play it once a year, but honestly, that's kind of probably too much. So at the moment, it's a four-year tradition. Um, but I don't know, man. I, I said this last time. If you weren't here last time I played this, this game tends to ground me. I know that's a weird sentence, but it's like... It's the first game I ever streamed. It's my favorite game. It was the game that probably... One of the few games that got me really into video game music. And not just as like, oh, that's a funny Mario song. But like, oh, this is a legitimate art form and it's amazing. So it's, it's all that. Um, it deals with time travel in an interesting way. Which is a very easy thing to fuck up and get wrong. So there's, there's a lot of reasons I like to play this, and it, and it kind of, much like time travel, rem like, brings me back to various other times I played it. Like, the first time, my memories of getting it, uh, my memories of streaming it from previous times, there's a lot of good things I associate with this game, and it's nice to come back to once in a while. Would you ever consider playing a modded version of this? Or like FF7 someday? I- I kinda just answered that. So I did. <laughs> that was four years ago, I played a modded version, and it was- it, it- it honestly was a little disappointing. There was some cool stuff in it, but then like, when people insert their own storylines... Was it- am I mistaken, or was there a Donald Trump joke? In Chrono Trigger Plus? There was. Okay. Just wanted you to be aware of that, because that's like 150,000% why I'm not playing this. Not why I'm playing this game. So, I, that was like one of those things that was like, eh, maybe not. That, yeah, I mean, it is now of a very specific time period because of that, like, reference. I'm sure there's different ones that are good. I'm sure there's other stuff that's like, just adds quality of life. I know there's plenty of quality of life hacks for this. Final Fantasy VII, I watched a video recently. There's some incredible visual mods. There's a mod that lets you zoom out the world map when you're on it, like, all the way. There's some incredible, like, model replacements. There's... Final Fantasy VII has some pretty intense fucking shit in the modding scene right now. Vinny, have you ever considered playing a modded version of Chrono Trigger? <laughs> I think it would be nice to experience the game differently. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 
Someone said, Vinny, it's time to put us in a home. <laughs> Oh, right, you can't do that. I think it's flame toss only. I'm waiting for this monster to get a little closer so I can shoot flame. There we go. I know this is asked a lot, <clears throat> but Final Fantasy VI or Chrono Trigger? For me, it's Chrono Trigger. I, I love Final Fantasy VI, but Chrono Trigger is... When I say it's my favorite game, I don't just say that. Like, it actually is. But, um, 6 is a very... very, very close second in terms of SNES RPGs. If this got a remake, would you want it one-to-one? -one? I don't know, because Mario RPG proved that you could retain the spirit of the original. I just worry about the visuals, I worry about... I don't know, I'm not really sure, chat. I don't know. A very difficult task, which is why it hasn't been done. Mario RPG's, um, remake outsold the original in just a couple months, apparently. So there is still an appetite for that type of game, which is, you know, a Mario RPG. It's a good remake, too. Who are you? You there, where are you from? We come from the laboratories to the west. What? Hey, we've got people who crossed the ruins! Say again? You're joking. So there are people who can beat up those freaky mutants. Daddy's gonna bring us some food. My husband went down to the food storage area below. I haven't seen him since. Yeah, about that. Did you really come from the dome to the west? No. A time portal? What in the... Well... Guess we can get our own information using our computer. Pardon me, I'm Doan. I'm the descendant of the director of this info center. In the basement, there's a huge computer and a storage center for food. We can't get through because of the robot guards. It's a pity. There's an old factory site called Protodome to the east. Can't get near it because there's a bunch of lunatic robots in the area. You can reach the continent to the south through the sewer access, but stay off Death Peak. Is that a... grammatical error? Yeah. It's just one quotation mark. It's an old man living in a dome near Death Peak. Talk about crackpots. Door with the crest? Dynamite won't budget. So... One, a thing I like about this game that you can only experience that first time you play it is how it, like, doles out the information. Like, here you are in this brand new area. You can surmise what's going on here. Obviously, you're in a ruined future of some kind. Also, those purples look really nice on that wall. Uh, but then you talk to these people and it's like... They're, they're hungry. Sure, this is money? Oh, well, I have to lighten my inventory anyway. Save money, it'll do you good. That's what the guy who walked to the other dome used to say. How did he walk to the other dome? They were just saying that they can't walk to the other dome. I like when the fretless bass does that. True story, we recorded fretless bass for a song today. Gerald, uh, our, our buddy who, Intermotion Music, he has a fretless bass.
So before I go to the um, area... Bandits must report to Sir Crawley. Before we go down and get them food, because they're hungry, we're going to hang out in the sewer for a little while. Also, this is a new Uematsu song. Vinny, hypothetical question for you. Chrono Trigger gets a remake so perfect that even you can't find anything wrong with it, but to get the funding for it, Illumination gets the rights to make a movie about it. Um, dinner with Jay-Z. Definitely. Here, I saw it. Ribbit. Fool. Ribbit. There's nothing here. But, but it's true. Ribbit. Ah, someone's coming. Let's scram. Ribbit. And Chris Pratt plays Magus. That sounds good. Let's do it. Someone said I skipped this whole section by accident on my first playthrough. Well, you do... This is an optional area right now, but you do have to come here later. It's just... This is good because you get some additional items. Jared Leto Magus getting beat to an inch of his life by a CGI frog. Oh. Stop. You're, you can only sell this movie so much. Actually, no, you don't have to come here later, right? At all, now that I think about it. Wait, you do? Oh, you do. No, you do. You do. Actually, you do. There is something that has to be... Like, I'm gonna... I know it's an old game. It's like, oh, how could you spoil a game that's that old? This is a tad on the spooky side. This is an eerie place. I've got a bad feeling about this. Um, but yeah, you can actually, oh, there's the cat. We're going to save the cat. There's a diary. Here's the last page. It's all over. The fishmen attack if I make even the slightest noise. I'd rather have my gums scraped than to have to fight these fiends. I always was fascinated by that note. Always. Like, what do you mean gums scraped? So here's a cat. Chat, you want me to save the cat, don't you? The sewer cat? You can't save the sewer cat. So I had a bit where I used to try to save the sewer cat. Over and over and over again. I'm much too lazy to do that bit again. You just did? Well, one time. We can we can do it one time. Don't act like you're above that bit. No, I'm not above the bit. I'm not above the bit. All Johnny has to do is copy-paste this exact moment nine times. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. this. There's an amazing... Oh yeah. Someone did make an incredible piece of art for this. I'll show you in a second. In the style of the original... Um, art for Chrono Trigger, the key art. I forgot how amazing this was. This is fucking incredible. 
I guess it says, I don't know who made this DW, maybe? Oh, that's really cool. Ozkai. Oh, okay, gotcha. Cool. I, I don't know why I said DW. The art you retweeted recently was so good. Okay, yeah, so Tiny Crusader made this? Wait, no. Well, yeah, actually. But this is Mario RPG. That's different than the one... Wait. I showed that one already. Hang on. So the one that Tiny Crusader made for Chrono Trigger... Um... Let's see. Art Corner returns. No, and we'll talk about it. Uh, Mario RPG. Yeah, so the Chrono Trigger one that I retweeted. We were going to try to do something with this for a shirt. But I don't know. I might be too many colors for a shirt. So I'm still going to look into it. We, like... Tiny Crusader made this with the uh, purpose of maybe us putting it on, the sh on a shirt or maybe even a poster. So I'm going to look into that and I'm going to try to get this made in some way or another because it's fucking awesome. I love it so much. You got Meat, you got Mr. Dink, you got Sponge, Shrimp Lady, Rem Lazar, Scoot. Uh, wait, is there Meat? Yeah, Meat's there. Um, and there's Norts. <laughs> it's just so good. So yeah, poster would probably be better than the shirt, because the, the shirt, it's a little complex for that. So why why don't I do Buru? I, I've explained this plenty of times, but people get... People get very sad that I don't do it, and I've had people sadly attempt to guilt trip me about it. Um, this is another troll, by the way. I don't feel comfortable with the art segment any further. It's as simple as that. People got weird. I don't know how to react to people drawing me. Oh yeah, fake save point. Um, people would put, like, messages to me. It was, um, honestly, and then I would look at the art just before bed. And I'd be really tired. And if I didn't say a nice thing about every piece, it would get weird, and people would make me feel bad. And I would feel bad. I'm sorry, chat. It was not healthy for me. I miss it, too, in a lot of ways. I miss the art. I love the art. I love what people are capable of. It's not that I don't appreciate it. My mental health th at this point is a little more important for me. And it just made me... And, and, you know, it made people weird. Like, people wanted to do art so that Vinny would notice, Senpai would notice. Rather than, I love drawing. If Vinny sees it, great. I did it for me, I did it for the community. If you still want to do that, feel free. You can tweet the art to me, you can put it on the Buru, you can put it on the subreddit if you aren't completely, you know, uh, disgusted by the concept of the word Reddit. Whatever floats your boat, there's a chance I'll show it, there's a chance I'll check it out. Um, it's not a guarantee, but it's probably better for me that way, and I'm sorry if that's something that, uh, is, is something that feels bad to hear. But I had to learn that. But yeah, I mean, obviously, what you just saw was absolutely fucking incredible, and um, I would love to see more of it. I had a really good, um... You have this here. Like, from, uh, RimWorld. Maybe this looks a little familiar? <laughs> yep, this is, uh, a Soto's art. So I was going to show that the other night, last night, but I forgot. But, you know, there's always a chance they'd be used for thumbnails. There's a chance 
Um, I'm sure Johnny checks the Buru, and, you know, we take a look once in a while. I do, for sure, for emotes and stuff. So... Yeah, so, um... Maybe, maybe we'll see more art in a little, you know, in some limited capacity in some way. But not in an organized, Vinny must look at every piece of art setting. Not good. Press the switch and the bridge opens! Ribbit! So switch on, Ribbit! These are just tutorial frogs, by the way. Ribbit! It's out of reach, Ribbit! You call yourself a frog? Ribbit, Ribbit! Someone's coming, let's scram! Ribbit! Do you still have emote slots open? Yeah, I have tons of animated slots for um, Twitch, and I have several other slots available for... Hang on a second. Counterattack rate's pretty good. I'm gonna throw that on Chrono for a bit. I have, uh, for the other stuff, like Better Twitch TV, I'm always down for new emotes, if that's something that anyone feels like doing out of the goodness of their own heart. <laughs> Just for fun. Um, you know, if that's something you'd like to do and contribute to the stream in that way, that's awesome. Three of them are almost here. Coming through the sewer like they own it. They must have a death wish. We shall teach them a lesson. Let's show them! <laughs> <laughs> Just let them come through here. They'll be chopped liver. I'm not doing all the laughs. <laughs> they just keep laughing. Har, har, har. Ha, ha, ha. He, he, he. Yeah. Huh? I like how the guard just left. Pretty fucking brutal move. So yeah, that takes you down to 1 HP. Not only do you get stabbed with what I would assume is maybe like a poisonous stinger, but then you get body slammed by it. And it, yeah, it's not, it's not fun. No, Chrono definitely has eggs in him right now, after that. Like, almost undoubtedly. Also, brain damage. Yeah, a little bit of brain damage. I should have healed. Oh wait, no, I'm good. Uh, I can't do the fire whirl. Uh, I could see art segments during the week in the very beginnings, not just Sunday. In my opinion, I just ignore what people say bad or strange, but that's just, just me. Yeah, but, chat member, how many times can I see a drawing of my face? I don't like myself sometimes. I don't need to see my face every day. Like, I don't need to see me drawn like some kind of Adonis god. Like, I don't... It's not, like, good for me. <laughs> it's not good for me. Um, it's... I, but I get it, and, and I don't want to... We could... Obviously, I could just not read that. But I think it has to be, like, stated. Aside from all the other weird shit about it, and the way people treated me, I don't know how to react anymore to pictures of myself. So, I'd prefer not to have to. 
And if I pick and choose, like, I'm just like, oh, here's the ones I will, I will look at, you know, for a specific segment. It's not going to make people feel good. So my plan is, I will just, once in a while, if I see something cool, I'll show it during a stream. That's it. So here's Death Peak. Can't really do anything here at all uh, right now because you just get blown off. And then that come. You'll see. You'll see. Is this the first time you see a new in this game? Strange creature, they call it. I am pleased you think me worthy, O oh wise one. I await your final program code. Oh, don't go getting all emotional on me, critter. Back to work now. Shala, I've missed you so. No! You must not climb Death Peak. And make it very far anyway. It has to be the right time, and they have to show you the way. Hey, did you see my masterpieces? The Ocean Palace and the Blackbird? I designed and built them both. So without giving too much away, this dude's probably lost it a little bit. And uh, this creature is called New and You. But they said, like, you know, back in the other dome, they're like, that guy's, that guy's not all there and uh, don't bother. But, you know, there's a good sword over here, so... <laughs> of course I'm gonna bother. We don't want that cheese. Sewer cheese! We don't want a can. We don't want to save this cat, because this cat is... There- listen, there are two options here, okay? This cat is either in cahoots with the bad guys... ...or the cat's a troll. Or, it's just a silly cat. Because it's three options. Wait, you want me to save the cat? Chat, have you considered that the cat doesn't need saving? The cat loves it down here. If you don't save Fritz in the guillotine in 1000 AD, that note doesn't appear in the sewer? That sounds fake. Oh shit, hang on a second. No, we're good. I, I, I just had a moment where I'm like, did I do my laundry? Did I put the fucking, the, the washing machine stuff in the dryer? I did. I got this. Mold moment. This bestie is relatable. That is why my pussy's in the bio. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just so... I find it so funny. I, there's something wrong with me. The note thing is actually true? Oh wow, okay. Are you going down below? Of course. No one's ever returned from there. Gotta try, right? It's nice to see such spirited young people for a change. Careful now. Come back alive. This 
console controls the passageway. We need a password to get through. Well, I know the password, but you can't uh, enter it until you actually learn it in-game. Yeah, I had no idea that note thing was real. Memo attached. Anyone within the vicinity of the stock room will be attacked. Just a paralyzed rat. So, once again, I have learned a new thing about Chrono Trigger, as I do every playthrough. You would think I've run out of stuff, but I had no idea if you don't save Fritz. Chrono, what's going on? Marl, let's go! I had no idea about that note, that's cool. Counterattack is good in this fight. These early fights are good at teaching you, like, you know, uh, target priority. Zero! Yes! Your voice sounds different today. Forever flu gone? I hope so. Vinny, you sound older. That's one comment that will always be true. This boss is the entire reason I call little extra dudes on bosses bits. Can we one cycle? I don't know if you... I don't know if you can one cycle this boss. Unless you do a little bit of extra grinding. But I think at the moment... Oh man, I fucked up. If that doesn't kill, uh, I really fucked up. I was like, wait, why am I not attacking the main robot? And, uh, well, there's, there's the answer. you sell people Chrono Trigger? How, sell to new Chrono... What? How would you sell Chrono Trigger to new people? I see this is just like any other old RPG. I mean, the set could be... You, the same could be said. See now, you got me... What? Your sentence broke my brain. Um... Just to blame you for a minute. I would say... Watch more of the stream. Or play it yourself. Because if you look at this game, you see it on a lot of top lists of, like, best RPGs. That's not normally- oh my god, 1 HP. That's not normally enough of a reason to go and play an entire game. But genuinely, it is a game that does all of the JRPG stuff right. Doesn't waste your time and tells a great story with great music. Uh, other than that, just watch the stream and see if you like it. This is like the time I said something stupid about RoboCop. You correctly told me to watch the film. Yeah, because RoboCop, on appearance, looks like a dumb... Like, I'm a cop. I shoot dicks. And that's it. Kind of movie. And it's like... You watch RoboCop, and there's several other layers. <coughs> I mean, I thought that way for years, too.
Have you watched all three seasons of the cartoon? <laughs> no, no. Whew, something reeks. Everything's completely rotten. The refrigeration must have failed. Chrono, look. Passed away long ago, I suppose. He's holding on to something. What do you suppose this is? It looks like some kind of seed. Seed? Do you suppose it could grow in a place like this? Marl really likes that word, suppose. The following is written on a soiled sheet of paper. The rat is more than just a statue. It knows the secret of this dome. Catch it. Thank you, dead person. But yeah, one seed. All this stuff has been spoiled. Shh, I ran away. Got it. Squeak, I give up. Why does a rat talk? I'll tell you everything, Squeak. Press and hold L and R buttons and press A to access the secret passage, Squeak. Don't make any mistakes so you'll be sorry. God, I think at one point I emulated this game many, many years ago. And it wasn't doing simultaneous inputs. I'm talking like the early 2000s, like maybe ZSNES. And it had some kind of simultaneous input problem where I couldn't actually uh, go in. Old emulators and keyboards had that issue, yeah. I love that this creature, this, not this creature, this, this robot can attack moving creatures. Vinny, I just want to let you know that Mr. Roger is one of the jokes that, of yours that me and my brother reference the most. I'm so sorry. I, you know what? I'm not sorry to you, I'm, I'm sorry to Mr. Rogers. Like, I know his grandson emailed me and was like, Vinny, that was hilarious. And Mr. Rogers was amazing. He was a cool guy. I just feel bad. Yeah, he really did. I think it was... Yeah, grandson. That did actually happen, yeah. But he said that uh, Fred Rogers had a very good sense of humor about himself. So it made me feel a little bit better. He was just happy that people still know who he is and appreciate him. And that he was as good of a dude as he seemed. So that, that made me feel good. Because uh, I, I said this before, we could use more people like Mr. Rogers. Really. Maybe, maybe we need Skibbity Rogers. Maybe then things will be okay. Well, how else are we going to get them to watch Mr. Rogers? We need him to come out of a toilet. <laughs> That's the only way, chat. Chat's like, my God, I hate what he just said, but I know he's right. Kill the rat. Happy one year anniversary to Skibbity Toilet. It is one year, isn't it? Yeah. Mental. 
Seems like only yesterday. Uh, here's another thing that I'm gonna say, where people are not gonna want to hear it, but they're gonna say, one day or now, Vinny was right. Think of the shows that you were nostalgic for as a kid, that you hold in high esteem. Think of even the YouTube videos for those that are younger. That you're like, oh, that was my shit. That was amazing. I grew up with that. It was awesome. Well, 15 years from now, the people that grew up with Skibbity are going to be watching, like, Bazapsko. They're going to be watching Bazapsko Pustule. And they're going to be like, I don't understand this shit. Back in my day, we had stuff like Skibbity Toilet, and that was the best. Man, we had it good as kids. We grew up with the good shit. I can't go in there anyway. You have a cursed mind, Vinny, but you're right. Yeah, some, not too bad, but a little bit here and there, yeah. What was your generation's Skibbity Toilet? I would say Ren and Stimpy. I was watching Ren and Stimpy at like six, five or six, and that shit was like kind of twisted. There was like a sentient fart. There was um, a lot of violence. There was a, there was a lot of disgusting shit in that show, but it, I look back at that. And I'm like, oh, that was the good shit, because I grew up with it. I was five. <laughs> so this is the info center. Good, the computer's still operational. If we run a search on time warps, we might find our gate. Here, got it. East of Aris Dome. Yeah, it's like future, like, Google Maps. It's a shame the refrigeration forked, but the computer still works. That would be Protodome, I believe. Leave it to Luca. I'm beginning to think you could find anything with this device. Say, what does this button do? 1999 AD. Visual record of the day of Lavos. Is that Lavos? Is that what's destroying our world? We must truly be in the future. No, no way. I refuse to believe it. This this can't be the way the world ends. Chrono, there's only one thing we can do. We must change history, just like Chrono did when he saved me. Okay, Luca? Okay, Chrono? I guess so. It was a stroke of luck that we were sent here through that gate. Chrono, let's go. Okay. Chrono, Luca, together we can do this. Let's take a second and do some more research on Lavos' activities back in our own time period. Next stop, Protodome. So, okay. Okay, a couple things. One, I can see a couple spots there where the translation could definitely be patched up a little bit. And probably was in future versions. Two, because that was very quick. They're just like, let's go stop that giant parasitic 
devouring creature that fucking destroys the planet. It just needs a little bit more time, but it's still, I still love it. It just, yeah, it's very quickly that they're like, yeah, we, I think we, I like that Luke is like, I guess so. Um, other than that, though, basically, yeah, there's a giant um, thing that just erupts in 1999, you know, 25 years ago, and destroys the, the world. But I do love that the music Kronos theme plays after all that. You're back. Well, what did you discover? This is our future. Oh, who cares? Where's the food? This is all we could get. Seeds? You don't know how long the Enertron will hold out. Those seeds might be your only hope. You have to stay alive. And so do we. Ah. Uh, you're strange. You're different from us. I think it's because we're healthy. Heal thigh? Got a nice ring to it. We'll try growing the seeds. <laughs> what are those? It just might be our future. Heading for Protodome? Go by way of Laboratory 32 and take this with you. Got one bike key. It's a key to the jet bike in Lab 32. I used to ride it when I was young. Hope it still works. They've got more powerful robots over there. Take care and stay healthy. Healthy. I'm just gotta push that person aside. So these people are just living via this machine but are always hungry. Just constantly hungry. But yeah, I mean, it's it's a pretty, um... It's a pretty good setup. Like... This, um... It's, it's also nice that you find a little seed for them that they may, may one day actually end up growing their own food. Do we know how many years from 1999 this is? Let's see if it says it on the map yet. 2300. So this is 300 years after Lavos erupted and uh, destroyed everything. Hold it right there. Yeah, there's a greaser robot. Hey, it's... The man. Like, thanks for the intro, babe. The man. You low lives can call me Johnny. Now listen up. Part of an old highway leads through these ruins. Think you can beat me in a bike race? Just use that jet bike and don't check it out, babe. <laughs> You know how to ride? Yes. Winning does that to Johnny's hair. The man rides like a roller coaster. What? It's like after the thing we just learned about this planet, the game throws us a sentient bike greaser man. Why not? Also, there is uh, one little nitpick I could give about this game here. So obviously we're heading to the east, but it looks like we're racing to the west, like because we're facing left. It's silly. I, it's just where the camera's placed. But yeah, uh, you can actually rotate the camera, I think, when you return to this.
So that's how you beat Johnny. You use your one boost right at the end. I mean, you, you get three boosts, but... He's sad. You... You beat me? I don't get it. You can challenge me anytime. We'll ride the wind, babe. Here's a thing I didn't know for years, as you probably heard me say in a previous, um playthrough of this game, is that you can actually walk this. Uh, as you can tell, though, you have to fight some mutants, but there's, um, there's a decent item. Just gotta wait for them to get closer to each other. These fucking weird tomato creatures, I hate their faces so much. They look like that, that alien that they showed in Mexico. Tomato mutants. Alien in Mexico, you're talking bollocks. Yep, no, there was a little, uh, alien fella. Oops. So, uh, I think they cut into him, he was made of cake. Knocking about. Someone said I think they're based off of a Japanese statue. Interesting. I think these enemies can only be damaged by, um, elemental attacks. Yeah. And yes, that is actually something that Marl just does. She just- she just smacks her ass. I wonder, like... What would happen if Johnny put that in the thumbnail? Just a close-up of Marl smacking her ass. Don't do it, Johnny. Don't do it. But I'm wondering, like, what would the views be like versus just a regular Chrono Trigger thumbnail? One million views, huh? Hmm. I don't know if there's any other items here. I, I kind of remember. So there's a race log, but I don't remember if there's anything else. They're called Dogu statues. Why does Marl only have one teeth during her wind pose? That's a great sentence, by the way, chat member. I wonder, though, if anyone from Square Enix is actually, like, actively browsing Twitch to see which of their games, um, is, like, you know, played and revisited and discussed, and in order to, like, gauge interest for future projects. If so, hello, Square. Someone just said absolutely not. Uh, they might. Not anyone from Square, like, Japan, but maybe, I don't know, maybe they're... U.S. Division? I do wonder, though. Also, I, I didn't look at Marl's big poof. I'm gonna do that. There was, um, you know, for the... I guess there was an anniversary. Was there an anniversary? Why? Wait, they did a Chrono Trigger interview. They had, like, the creators get together and they talked about their experience making the game recently. And they talked about Sea of Stars, which, again, I played a little bit of it. It was fine. 
I don't know... If a game looks and sounds good, of course that's great, and the gameplay can be good, but there's, there's something... I'm sure people uh, love that game, but there's something that didn't quite grab me about it. I still didn't see the tooth. I, got, I, I really have to... I think it's supposed to... I don't know. She's, a, she's got a big smile, chat, that's all. A, just a big toothy smile. Daddy's jizzies has returned. Somehow. Uh, do you only show up for Chrono Trigger anymore? That's gotta be someone's, like, alt account that they're embarrassed to use. They're here a bunch. Oh, I haven't seen them in a while, but it's a big chat. Orifus Horus I haven't seen in a while either, but again, there could be. There's just cursed names everywhere, so maybe. Maybe... I'm just desensitized to it by now. Yeah, oh, oh, I see the busy- oh, yeah. Great, you just ruined Marl's victory pose for me. Yeah, it's just supposed to be a big smile, but pixel limitation. Yeah, one teeth. Spoken like a true toddler. <laughs> this. It's in bad shape, but it appears to be a humanoid robot. Incredible. I think I can fix it. What? It might attack us. Yeah, I'll make sure it won't. Machines aren't capable of evil. Humans make them that way. Luca, you pity them, don't you? Let me get to work now, okay? The door won't budge. Right, that does it. I'm gonna give it some juice. We're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. Full commitment, what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other guy. Apparently, um, Mitsuda had no idea that it sounded like never gonna give you up. I'll always make that same joke. It's it's famous for sounding like that song. Good morning. Mo Good morning, mistress. What is your command? I'm not your mistress, I'm Marl. And this is Chrono. And Luca here fixed you. Understood. Madame Luca fixed me. Just Luca will do. Impossible. That would be rude. Look, I hate formal titles. Don't you, Marl? Hate him! I understand, Luca. Alright, what's your name? Name? Ah, my serial number. It's R66-Y. R66-Y. Cool! No, that won't do at all. Come on, Chrono, let's give him a better name. 
could name him R66Y, but I like just default Robo. He wants an Oreo. Robo. Robo. That's perfect. Your new name is Robo, okay? I am Robo. Data storage complete. Hey, Robo, why aren't there any people here? What? What has happened here? There were many humans. The others of my kind in this dome. And others of my kind in this dome. I think something awful happened here. It would appear so. But how is it that you survived? We came through a time warp from the year 1000. While exploring Aris Dome, we learned there was a gate here. We found you when we came looking for the gate. The door to the inner chambers is locked, so we're out of luck. The power is off. If we go to the factory up north, I can pass through security and activate this dome's generator. You'd do that for us? You repaired me. Now it is my turn to help you. But the generator won't run for long, so someone must stay behind to open the door while the power's on. Then Marl or I will stay. Sorry, Marl. Okay, please be careful, Chrono. Notice how everyone has two names. Marl, Nadia, Frog, Cyrus. Well, Frog is actually Glenn. Robo, R699, and <laughs> wrong number. Magus, yeah, yeah. Chrono, Goku, Luca, Bulma. Glenn Quagmire. <laughs> Chrono Trigger. Yep. Ayla. Dactyl. Ribbity. Ribbity. Ribbity Toilet. <laughs> what? Override security system double zero. So yeah, now we have a new party member who is a robot who has lasers and uh, like machine gun fists. I am fully functional. There's, I mean, listen, there's a, a number of things that this game has in common with um, Live Alive. Not just the time period stuff, but like, yeah, there's some archetypes that are similar. I personally think, I I obviously like Chrono Trigger more than Live Alive, but that was a game that got a good remake. But I also don't hold that in as high regard as this, so it was, it was good. It was really well done. And if they did this in the style of that, I'd be okay with it. As long as it's, um, as long as it's handled with care by people who care. And not like what happened to Secret of Mana. The problem is that you didn't play Live Alive as a child. I didn't, I love it, but I, I mean... Yeah, I just don't consider Live Alive to be as good of a game as this. Child or not. But the nostalgia is a hell of a drug. Don't forget Square DMCAing people for playing it. Yeah. Well, not all of it, but enough of it. But also keep in mind, of the people that bought the game, YouTubers and streamers were probably, like, less <laughs> than most people. I would argue that streamers and YouTubers make 0.11... 
sorry, 0.0001% of the buying population of that game. But, I mean, there's a reason that a company like Square has even reached out to me with game keys. Like, I got Final Fantasy VII Integrate from Square. And I had issues with Square in the past, so it's, like, weird. But it works. I mean, when you have... When you have an audience, of course game companies are gonna... There's, like, whole websites set up to get game keys, like key mailer and shit. But Square is, um... Square is an interesting company, as we all know, and a very inconsistent company, and... I... I... Apparently they, they released a statement recently saying that they're going to go about developing games differently from here on out? I don't know what that means. AI. Yeah, they did mention AI. There was, um, apparently a line in the demo of Final Fantasy VII that someone accused it of being an AI, and everyone was like, That's AI, that's terrible, that's terrible. And then apparently it's not. I don't know if there was a resolution to that moment. But... This is... This is the world we live in now? Where... People are just gonna be, like... Doing... A lot of investigation... Into whether or not something is legit, and it's gonna be exhausting and awful. Apparently it was just a poorly edited voice line. And, um, again, as someone who's not a fan of AI taking people's jobs, to a degree I understand, but I'll tell you what, all of this is gonna make me watch the movie Blade Runner a whole lot differently from here on out. I just see, like, all of Twitter is just, like, Harrison Ford in that movie lately. It's gotten so bad that people just... ...start defaulting to... Count the fingers! Count the fingers! They should, yeah, they should do a Blade Runner sequel, but the replicants just have, like, seven fingers. <laughs> they all wear gloves! But yeah, I don't know. I, I don't like that Square's like, we're gonna be leaning heavily into AI, though. I, I, that's like, read the room, first of all. <laughs> and second, like, you guys probably have the money. You don't need to cut corners. X, A, and B, B. Don't forget the NFTs and crypto that Square wants to get into. Uh, it seems a little too late for NFTs, but I mean, I, I don't... This is another conversation that has gotten extremely exhausting. And, um... You know, I, I kind of tend to lean towards let's have a good time while I'm streaming. Um... I'm very happy NFTs are, like, dead because they were fucking annoying. It was just annoying and it was a very clear scheme. But... I mean, I, I don't, I, like, even me saying that seems so obvious, like I'm just fishing for low-hanging fruit brownie points. But, um, the fact that Square is saying, we will still look into this technology, it is, it is new and exciting, we will put it into our games. Like, are you people, like, stupid? So, yeah, I don't know, again, it, it just comes down to Square being the most baffling company of, like, they're not quite Konami levels of stupid, because they make amazing shit still. And Visions of Mana looks awesome. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth looks awesome. Live Alive Remake, awesome. 
so I don't know. I'm sure there's new games. 16 was good, too. Final Fantasy 16, I enjoyed quite a bit. They have the potential to do some good shit. I heard um, Octopath Traveler 2 was amazing. I heard um, Triangle Strategy was good. So, you know. We'll see what path they continue to go down, but uh, I'm, I'm just so sick of the conversation. Even though it was kind of my fault, I brought it up. <laughs> what about Kingdom Hearts 3? Yeah, I played only the second half of Kingdom Hearts 3, but I'd never played any other Kingdom Hearts game. Is that good? That's good, right? Are you going to be playing the Final Fantasy VII demo? I've been getting that question a lot. I'm not. I'm going to uh, just wait for the full game. My answer has been, um, I played a good chunk of the Nibelheim section, the incident. Uh, I played it at Comic-Con. They're also releasing a second half of the demo, which is the area near Junon, which also I played. So I'm, I'm in. I'm on. I'm on board. X A B Y. But uh yeah, I didn't even watch the direct that they did. I didn't watch the trailer. I think I'm good. I think I'm just gonna ride this bitch out <laughs> until the game comes out. And yes, there could still be spoilers, because there's some, you know, there's some plot lines that are different, and, um... I also, maybe there's a part of me that doesn't want to see how they're reinterpreting certain scenes. Because that's kind of part of the fun. Ah. Oh. Ah! Oh, I forgot that that happens. God damn it. Well, it looks like we're doing some grinding. Exactly why does everyone want everything spoiled? So, I have a friend that will... As soon as something is available to know, he, he will spoil himself on it. He can't help it. It's not Mike. It's not Mike. It's, um... Like... So, say there's a leak. Uh, for, like, Tears of the Kingdom. He knew the... the he played Tears of the Kingdom, but he knew what happened immediately. Because he'll go on wikis and he'll just find out. He didn't- no, he doesn't tell me. It's not Pat. It's not Pat. It's, uh, it's, um, it, it- maybe Pat does that. It's a friend of mine that no one from the stream would know. It's just an IRL guy. But, um, no, he wouldn't tell me the spoiler. Like, he knows I try to avoid them if, if possible. It's actually Jay-Z. Spoilers don't usually prevent me from enjoying things, says Mono in chat. I agree with that to a large degree, actually. I still find enjoyment out of the thing. It's more about the approach and how a story is told. A twist is good. Like, there's a big twist in Fight Club. Obviously, I don't want to have that spoiled. Because that's like, the whole movie is recontextualized. Um, whether or not you like the movie, it is... a kind of a weird... If you think about it too long, your head starts to hurt, so don't. But, you know, it's one of those things. But what's cool about it is you can watch it. 
You'll only ever watch it the first time. The first time. That's a bad sentence, and I feel bad for it, but I think you know what I mean. So some things I definitely would avoid, uh, I would try to avoid being spoiled, but like, I'll give you an example. Tears of the Kingdom, there's a big thing at the end that happens. I'm glad that didn't get spoiled for me, but if it did, gotta be honest, wouldn't have killed me. And also the nature of what I do for a living. You know, like having the chat room while I'm streaming. I know that there's every chance that a game I play that's new. There's some, you know, there's always a chance someone could spoil something. Which is why I also am aware that people make up fake spoilers too, just to jape. In which case, I just don't believe anything. It works out pretty well. So we did that section. This is a great song. Reminds me of another brick in the walls riff. You know, I never even considered that, but now that you say it, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is a great bass line. I, I really, I fucking, apparently David Gilmour played most of those bass lines on those Floyd records. <laughs> Probably not so many of the early ones, like when he first joined, but... It's definitely, like, Wish You Were Here, he played uh, a lot of bass, Animals, The Wall, I think. Um, but there's always been uh, the issue of, of credit, and like, Roger not giving enough credit to the other band members, supposedly. But I, it's just, it's an annoying, that's an another annoying thing to be aware of. Two, you know, great musicians from like, an incredible band in their 70s still hate each other. <laughs> you know? Pretty fucking annoying. Even though I, I would probably imagine Roger is the bigger problem in regards to just overwhelming personality, you know? That's my guess. The beats? Oh, man. I heard um, Johnny McFuckfist from The Beats doesn't like Timmy Blasphemy. <laughs> Did you listen to Dark Side of the Moon Redux? Uh, I heard one song and that was enough. I was good with that one. Here is... Okay, so Dark Side of the Moon, which is a great album. Very musical album. Roger Waters decides to re-record it, release it this year, this past year. And, um... He does mostly spoken word without the guitar solos 
from what I understand. Without most of the music, like, being what it is. And it's just, you know, just him, like, saying new words here and there. And, like, um... Breathe. Breathe in the air. Like, you didn't need to do that. You could just, you could just stop. I saw him live as well. He did The Wall when I saw him live. He was great. But I saw David Gilmour and Rick Wright in 2005. And Crosby and Nash came on stage. They, they just came all over the stage. And they did Dark Side of the Moon. They did a bunch of Dark Side. They did the David solo album. It was incredible. That was... A, Roger's show was a spectacle, but David's show was just great because it was all... Just music. Like, just the music. And I saw Nick Mason do his early Floyd shit. Oh. X-A-E-Y. Ah. Vinny, do you know the average age demographic is for chat? Why? It's because I'm talking about Pink Floyd, right? Um... I'm too young for Pink Floyd. Just want to check something real quick. Got it. You can enjoy stuff from before your time. Talk about Jay-Z instead. Apparently an amazing businessman. An entrepreneur, in fact. It's actually kind of weird, like... Knowing I grew up with, like... Games like Mario 64 and this, and there's younger YouTubers that are like, you know, 20, 22, that cover those games. It's kind of almost a little weird knowing that they were born after they came out. But then I remember, oh, I was born after the Beatles, and I listened to them. I, I was born after the Doors. So, I mean, it's fine. Emergency. Security system has gone haywire. It must escape immediately. Most of my favorite movies were from the 70s and 80s. We got this. Thanks, robot. You see this this is a useful robot. I love that little animation. These are my friends. R64Y, R67Y, R69Y. Good to see you. Ah, good to see you, R69Y. Especially you. What are you doing? You are defective. You have been tainted. Pardon? I'm malfunctioning? Affirmative. <laughs> a defect? I'm a defect? Have you forgotten our mission? All intruders must be eliminated. That was my purpose? You shame us. You must be destroyed. What are you doing? No, stop. These are my brothers. You kind of just have to watch. Please stop. Please. 
Yeah, this was... This was tough to watch as a kid. I like that robot, even though I had only spent 25 minutes with him. He was my favorite thing ever. Robo. Now to take care of the intruders. No, let's take care of you! Love that. It's like a fucking 80s movie one-liner. Be enough to kill him. Nope. Shit. Yeah, Luca. Luca takes a while. Jesus. You know, ostensibly, all that is is just an attack that hits both targets. But the animation is just so extra. Chrono, you're facing the wrong way. Chrono, what are you doing? Listen, chat, I hate to do this, but Luca, I could understand. She has a gun. It shoots plasma. That makes sense. Chrono has a sword made out of metal. Hitting metal robots. Is he doing that much damage to them? Robo. They trashed him. It's a Hitori Hanzo sword. He's in bad shape. I'm not sure I can fix him. Let's get him back to the protodome for now. Can you repair me? Shh, don't talk. You are trying to save our world? I don't know how far we'll get, but that's the plan. Anyway, Robo, what are you gonna do when you're repaired? What am I going to do? Yeah, I mean, what plans do you have for the future? Luca, no one has ever asked me that before. Good morning. Robo, you're alright. Luca, you're incredible. I hope I never have to do that again. Luca, I have made up my mind. I want to go with you. Pardon? There is nothing left for me here. Together, maybe we can give this planet of ours a chance. And let's go. The gate's up ahead. Hang on to your shorts. Somewhere.
Ah, more guests. What do you mean, guests? And where are we? Why, this is the end of time, of course. All lost travelers in time wind up here. Well, where are you from? We're from Guardia Kingdom, circa 1000 AD. I come from 2300 AD. When four or more beings step into a time warp, the conservation of time theorem states that they will turn up at the space-time coordinates of least resistance. Here. Disturbances in the space-time continuum have increased recently. Far too many folks are just popping in here. I fear something is having a powerful effect on the very fabric of time. Which means that one of us has to remain here. Stay here? Alone? It is pretty bleak here. But not to worry, all time periods connect here. You can visit your friends whenever you wish. But you can never travel in groups greater than three. So one of us must stay. Who will it be, Chrono? It's, it's gonna be Robo. Chat, it's gonna be Robo. I'm sorry. Please come for me whenever you need me. So, there you have it. Don't forget, press the Y button to switch party members. Well, how do we get back to our time? You see those lovely pillars of light? Those hook you up to different eras. Once you've been through a gate, you can always use it to come here. To use a gate from here, step into the light and press the A button. What do you mean the A button? What does that mean? But beware, the gate which leads from that bucket. Oh. Hey. Hey. He doesn't want us going in the bucket. Don't be in such a rush. Before you go, take a peek inside the room behind me. We have to kind of... We don't have to bench Robo, but... um, Well, you'll see in a minute. What are you looking at? I'm Specchio, the master of war. I've seen all kinds of battles from here. How do I look to you guys? Weak. I see. Well, let's put it this way. If you're strong, I look strong. If you're weak, I look weak. You are strong of will. That's why the old one let you through. Long before you were born, there was a kingdom where magic flourished. Everyone there could use it. But in time, people began to abuse their powers. It got so bad that no one was allowed to use magic except wizards. How'd that happen? <laughs> But you have it. A, a determination, I mean. Magic needs power of the heart. It needs inner strength. Magic is divided into four types. Lightning, fire, water, and shadow. Apparently in the, the Japanese version, it's light. Or the original like version of Chrono Trigger, it's not lightning. It's just like light to counter the, the, the shadow. You with the punk hairdo, you're lightning. The, ones with the, uh, the one with the ponytail is water. The one with the goofy glasses is fire. Not just magic, but everything is based on the balance of these four powers. Think magic, and starting from the door, walk clockwise along the walls of my room three times. Don't lose track now. Who is this creature? <laughs> this is a La Creatura. I think we probably, that's a four times? Very good! Ipso facto minimo magico. That's what he has to say. Otherwise, there's no magic. Chrono learns to use magic. Marl learns to use magic. Luca learns to use magic. So, fortified with magic. Want to try it out? All right. I forget if you can actually even win this first fight. I think you can with a little bit of... 
y you probably need to come back after you level up a bit, but yeah, you can win this one, I think. That and also, you know, if you did some grinding. Which, and this is a game where you kind of really don't need to grind almost at all. Like, just to finish the game, I mean. If you want to do some of the extra stuff, then sure. Yeah, that's not going to work, buddy. Have you ever seen Specchio in his smallest form, a frog? Uh, I know there is a frog form, but I've never gotten to it naturally. God damn it, I knew he was going to do that on Chrono. Well, we're, we're gonna we're gonna raw dog this fight. You gotta avoid almost every fight <laughs> to get the frog. It's a speedrunner thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that was most embarrassing. Huh? Don't make a habit of this. Here, this is for you. I am the master of war. Phew, sometimes I scare myself. You guys are too much. Bring newcomers to meet me. So... We can try to get Robo-Magic. That's the biggest toy I've ever seen. Hey, you're not alive, are you? You got great strength, however. Since I can't measure your inner character, I can't give any magic to you. But your laser weapons will suffice. They can inflict shadow-type damage. That's it. He just says a little dialogue. The reason I'm going with uh, Marl and Luca is because I'm going to need magic soon. And they have... They have a good dual tech. And they work well with Chrono. Well, well. People who lived long ago all enjoyed such powers. Now, I know you're itching to go ripping back and forth through time, but first you need to return to your era. You must hurry. The longer you remain here, the harder it will be to change that which must be changed. Stop by whenever you're in the area. Mystic Mountain, 65 million BC. So they did go... Yeah, I mean, it's, that's pretty fucking far back in time. Uh, we don't... Actually... Unga. Right now. But this is how we give Dactyl and get Dactyl. Um, yeah, but there's dinosaurs in this game, for those that don't know it, and it's, it's, it's wonderful. But this is, this is another instance where I actually kind of, I just don't need to be here, and I probably shouldn't be. Yeah, there's just no plot reason to be here, and we'll be here anyway at some point. But you can explore, you can, you know, kill some dinosaurs. There's a couple items. In fact, there is um, the hunting ground area, which you can use to get some items early. but you cannot get Dactyl. Just show you Unga. These are Unga times, chat. You wear odd skins. You want to see pretty redstone? Chief has. Chief's hut north of village.
you one of reptites, I beat you up. Reptites have scales, cold blood, hard to beat. Drink sweet water, grow strong when drink. The, oh yeah, they know English, by the way. And thank God they do, because otherwise this would be a real fucked up sec uh, section. Sec uh, sec section. Thunder stun all dinosaur, you know? You strange, have good stuff? Chief, no, okay, no can trade. Uh, yeah, you can't do the trading minigame, then. This trading house, many things for trade. Except, we're, we're so lame, we can't even trade right now. Wrong one, become chief. Man, woman, child, no matter. Chief of Ioka, big muscles. You came from mountain? Many strange things happened there. That's why name Mystic Mountain. The Ruba clan hide in north woods, always hide, run from reptites, weaklings. Where are you from? Why are you here? Kino no like you! Well, get fucked, Kino! We fight reptites, the Ruba clan no fight reptites. The Ruba clan called Dactyl, fly in sky. We no can call Dactyl. No can fly. So we don't get to see Dactyl, but we get, we get to hear about Dactyl, which is nice. Um, there's some other stuff you can do, and again, a couple other little items you can grab, but it's not really... It's not really worth doing right now. Forest maze is off limits as well. Oh, thank you for the raid. I mean, uh, listen, I appreciate it. Anyone who has raided the channel, I'm, I'm sorry if I don't call out your name and I don't, you know, catch it. Grapefruit. There you go. Didn't they make a show about those Geico cavemen? There's some, like, attempt at turning the Geico cavemen from the commercials into a sitcom of some so sort. And it failed horribly. But I mean, this game is great because you also, you, you go from future to dinosaur. That's one of many reasons, but it, it is a reason. This is back to, oh wait, that's a thousand. This is the dome we were at, Protodome. Go fight Lagosvin? Is that a Monster Hunter monster? Hey! Did you people just come out of the closet? Get out of here! Who do you think you are? Coming and going out of our closet at all hours? Scram! You can use magic? Magic using humans supposedly perished long ago. Medina Village was founded by the ancestors of the mystics who lost a war to human beings. Most mystics hold a grudge against humans. Be careful. You could eat that cake if you want. Hey, wait a minute. There's an odd man who lives near the cave in the mountains to the west. You might enjoy a chat with him. Thanks. Why are you being so nice? Mystics aren't supposed to get along with humans. <sighs> Humans fought the mystics over 400 years ago. My motto is forgive and forget, but not many seem to agree with me. Nothing here to sell to humans. 
Get out of here. Plead. Yeah, you know it all, humans. Teach him a lesson, boss. I like how there's just a fucking, like, mace-wielding psy psycho man. <laughs> Omicron. I think, yes, killing your customers is a very sound, like, business move. One that Jay-Z would approve of, I think. I got the boss. Beasts! Alright, I'll sell something to you. Um, I actually do a little bit of grinding in this game, so I can buy the Demon Edge. Because right now, it's just over- just under double my current sword's attack. I can- I can- okay, now these prices are jacked up on purpose. This tonic is supposed to be like 10, and it's 2020. So, he's being an asshole because uh, he hates humans. But, the sword is actually kind of worth it for a part in the game. And, uh, I'm gonna end up getting that. I have a little tactic. Huh, you think I'm gonna cut my prices for a human? It's a great weapon to have when you get it. Which is not far for well, it's it's a couple se uh, sequences further sections. I'm I'm a little tired. Don't worry, I won't be streaming much longer. No room here for human scat. Wait, human scat. Please let us stay. Ah, uh, pipe down. Okay, get him. See, now I'm killing his customers. Help! 200G per night. Wouldn't you like to rest? That's at least more reasonable. Elder's house. Ozzy the Eighth uses his ancestors' fame to boss us around. Got, a, got some speed. This work is brutal. I'm Ozzy the Eighth, Medina Village's leader. My ancestors served the Great Magus. Oh, Great Magus, why didn't you simply exterminate the human race 400 years ago? It looks like he's got big red tits with green nipples. Anyone else see that? I'd never noticed that before. The beast lives in the cave. In a cave on the mountain to the west. Only magic attacks can harm it. Those who do not possess magic will find it difficult to sneak by. Well, I get a better get back to work and tidy up before Ozzy the Eighth finds me. These little fellas, these imp fellas, are not that bad. They're just, you know... People take advantage. Like that jerk Ozzy. I used to call him Uzi. I'm not kidding, I pronounced it Uzi because I'm cool. I didn't know any better. One mid ether. So here's an interesting thing that you cannot do. What could this be? Did you not give the speed tab to Luca? Um, oh yeah, that would have been a good idea, huh? Well, Chrono has it, so that's good. Chrono, what's that weird chanting? But, Sir Magus. Four hundred years have passed since Magus commanded the mystics and waged war against the humans. When Lavos is awakened, all humans are doomed. 
Soon as Magus' creation, the mighty Lavos, awakens from his long sleep, the human race is doomed. Long ago, the almighty Magus brought forth the all-powerful Lavos. Yep. So, that is why there's a little spot on the map to have you come here. It's so you can learn that this Magus fella might have been the one that uh, summoned Lavos into the world. Can I do anything else here? It's still glowing. I wonder if there's any other information that needs to be assessed. No. I think it just glows. I'm starting to think this Lavos guy's a real jerk. He's a bit of a jerk. Ah, hello! Could I interest you in a weapon? Yes. I guess I could get this for Chrono, but that's gonna, like, seriously bankrupt me. Weapons. If there weren't evil in this world, there would be no need for weapons. What a sad state of affair. affairs. Just sold Chrono's weapon. Actually, that's not true. I, I had that weapon. I had a uh, double. You can't sell an equipped weapon. Everyone's got, like, a stove, a sink, a refrigerator. Like, they've got all those amenities, but no toilet. Oh, there it is. Maybe. Yeah, that's probably it. I mean, you could just shit in the woods. Death to the Mystic's enemies. Well, this is where we're gonna save for the night anyway, but... Just... Ow. So yeah, um, this is our our next location is this cave, and um, no early Lavos encounter. Uh, you okay? Could it possibly be? Yeah, I got the red katana now. I'm, I'm probably gonna do just fine. That gate leads to 1999 AD. It leads to the day of Lavos. Go there only if you're looking to achieve a shorter lifespan. Lavos will help you leave this mortal coil. Time to turn back. What? 
No way. This bucket is how you get a lot of the endings in this game. This is... Lavos. Chrono, what do we do? We fight. You're right, for Doan and the others, too. Ours was a short youth. <laughs> Lavos enters attack mode. So, I mean, yeah, you can just beat the game. You can just beat the game anytime, you know, if, if, you, if you want to. So, it has various forms of all the bosses you fought. And that's, like, part of the, you know, gimmick. I think you can actually... Can't you... You can actually get kind of far in this fight for a little while, right? I don't know if I really necessarily want to do that right now, but... You can win the first three fights. Yeah, it's just gonna... It's just gonna take a while is the problem. Wait, so... I actually have a question for chat. Does it spoil later bosses? It does, right? Yeah, I figured. I thought you were gonna get steamrolled. I wanted to see the iconic cutscene. The, the steamroll does happen in a couple different ways. boss is so hard, I actually gave up on the game. Yeah, but if you do, like, everything you, you have to, and play through the whole story, it's not that bad. Like, go through the whole story, there's side quests at the end that take a couple hours that are really good side quests that are very story and character centric. Um, you know, if you learn all your character's spells, it's not too bad. He looks like a butt with a turd in it. <laughs> Very astute observation, chat member. You're supposed to get the special ending on New Game Plus. That's true, yes. So New Game Plus is typically how people, you know, ending farm. You just go to the bucket in all the different times. Get in the bucket! Just get in the bucket, come on now! There it is, there's the first spoiler fight. I'm just gonna let it stomp me. But yeah, you can get kind of, uh... Oh. Um, you, you have to use magic on this one. But, again, it's like... I'm spoiling a fight I'm gonna be doing in the next half hour of the game anyway, so... Okay, now I will attack. Beep. 
too. There are obviously more forms of Lavos. Uh, this is... just the beginning. But somehow we're surviving. Doing the Peter Griffin death pose. <laughs> If you win here, does the game go to credits? That's the thing. There's, um... Say you have New Game Plus going, right? And you do win here. Depending on where you win it in the story, there's like 15 different endings. So... Like, I guess it's like, what, 12? 12 endings? So, um... Yeah, you and there's a couple joke endings too, but essentially you go and beat Lavos in that bucket or and other ways as well. Here's a little bonus cutscene. Direct attack on Truce. Calm down. How does it look down there? Poor Chorus Medina, everything's been destroyed! Director, we're under attack. Take cover in the Shelter Dome. Director, sir, you must come with us. We're out of time, get moving! I mean, y you could just go with them. Yes, sir. Lavos. How does he know? And that's like, that sprite of that director, I don't think you see him anywhere else in the game. That's like one of my least seen sprites of this entire video game. And there's the, uh, but the future refused to change. So now if you see people in chat typing that, you'll know what it means. And that is a very creepy noise for the Super Nintendo. That Lavos roar thing, whatever the fuck that is. But yeah, um... There you go. That is another Chrono Trigger stream for now, and uh, we'll play more soon. So, stop by whenever. I don't know when exactly, but maybe tomorrow? If I'm up for it, I'm not sure if I will be. Uh, possibly, but otherwise, uh, you will, you know, you will see more video games and more RimWorld soon, so thank you for being here, and, um, I appreciate the support, and I hope you have a great night. Goodbye.